Hello mortals, welcome to another topic suggested to me by my close friend Alania Macabre. So today's topic is self inserts. Now I'll tell you, this is all opinion not supported by anything other than my personal thoughts. Today's speed paint features Cherry from Studio Killers. I hope you enjoy. So what is a self insert? A self insert is an inserted character into a story that represents the creator of such character. Most self inserts fall into the category of a Mary Sue or a Gary Sue, which are characters that are seen as perfect and without flaws. Personally, I do have a self insert. Her name is Lila and she is my in my friend Alania's personal universe. You may ask, what makes Lila so different than all the others? And here's my answer. First of all, for your characters, let them have difference in yourself. Lila has similar personality and physical traits to me, but she is different. She is more lighthearted, a heartlet, and trusting of others while I'm not. She has a similar skin tone to mine, but different colored hair. She wears a different style of clothes than me, and she's not a completely different person. But that's what makes her unique and fit into the setting. Second of all, make sure your characters are in fact not flawless. They're not Beyonce. Also, a mental illness can be a flaw, but do not make it their only flaw. Basing a character off of a mental illness can seriously damage a story unless the story depends on it. They also need emotions, so don't make them a psychopath without proper reason. Using Lila as an example, she's an extremely impulsive person and acts on a whim, which can put her in a lot of dangerous situations. She's also a sex addict and has trouble with controlling herself, so those aren't her only flaws, but there are a few examples of what can be flaws for her. It could also be anxiety, depression, or just clumsiness, and most people say clumsiness is not a flaw. It is because I don't want to hit my knee against the desk again. The third tip for you is not to overdo your character. Yes, I understand not wanting to have a simple character, but overdoing it is kinda bad. I'm sorry, but it is. I understand wanting to make your character a mythical or magical creature. Lila's a witch for fuck's sake. But if you do overdo it and make them a dragon mixed with an elf mixed with a cat mixed with a pineapple, it makes less sense. People who take interest in your character will likely get confused by the over-detailed genealogy for them. And if you are going to do such things, make it reasonable. Have a story for why they have such genealogy. Like, I have a bunch of cat morphs, werecats, those type of things, and I made a genealogy for what type of cats they are. So it would be a cod cod Pomeranian, that is the wrong one, but a cod cod a Siamese and it's a genealogy for them. Fourth of all, make sure your self-insert is relevant to the story that you are putting them in. Find a place where your character may be and work with that so you can actually properly insert them into the story that you want to insert them in. If you're simply adding yourself because you're in love with the character, I mean, it's all right. But if it's not your own story, it's best for you to not make it as if you two will be together because it is unlikely and probably never going to be canon unless you actually collaborate with the creator of the story to make it canon and they like your thought process. But you know what is likely? That your character has a crush on the main character or the character that you want at the certain time. So that is a possibility and you can do that. You can make it so it's a fierce crush, a soft crush, any of that. You can make them be a acquaintance, a sort of friend, like those type of people. I actually had a crush on Jeff the Killer at the time and my friends called me meth, but it was kind of really, really, really bad for me and it's super embarrassing that that actually did happen because it was unreasonable. And how would that even happen? I mean, I'm a regular girl, what the fuck was wrong with me? All right, and that's basically it for this speed paint for this topic. I really hope you enjoyed. How about you check out my Instagram and check out my DeviantArt and my friends too. It's all in the link below, bye.